Hello all and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Miss Christensen here. Today's video is going to be an author illustration study video. I chose to do my illustration study video on Brian Collier as he has some amazing illustration work that I will be showing you in some um, children's books later on. Brian Collier grew up in Pocomo, Maryland. He was the youngest of six children. Brian started working with watercolors when he was just 15 years old. Brian was in high school in 1985 when he won his first congressional, congressional competition. His arc was displayed in the Capitol building in Washington, D.C. for one year. Later, he was won a scholarship from the Pratt Institution in New York City. This was the best leading school of art at the time. In 1989, he graduated with honors from Pratt Institution with his bachelor's in fine arts degree. While attending New York, Brian began volunteering at the Harlem Horizon Studio and Harlem Hospital Center with a program that provides work and space and materials of self-taught arts, artistics in the community. He later became the program director and held a position for 12 years. Brian still works with the program of Harlem as a volunteering, feeling a desperate sense of responsibility and positive role model for children. Brian has created 39 picture books and has far on the way as of May 2020. Brian's style is watercolor and collage and he was influenced by his grandmother when she used to quilt. He has many stories that tell African-American experiences, black and brown beautiful children and their stories that he has celebrated in his books. Brian wants to carry on his legacy to let African-American children see themselves in books to tell their stories that never have been told by people who have never been seen. Brian Collier was awarded the following awards, the Coretta Scott King Award for the following books, A Freedom River by Doria Rappaport and A Visiting Langston by Willie Perdomo. Brian also won the Cottle Cot Honor and Coretta Scott King Award for Martin's Big Words, The Life of Martin Luther King Jr. by Doreen Rappaport. He also won that award for La Rosa by Nikki Giovanni. He has also won the award, the Coretta Scott King and Ezra Jacks Keats Award for his book, Uptown by Brian Collier. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna be doing some book reviews on Brian. The book, the first book I'm starting out with is called Uptown and it's actually pretty special because Brian actually wrote it and he's the illustrator of it so he's the author too. The page I'm going to be showing you is this one. The words say Uptown is weekend shopping on 125th Street. Um, I think this illust these illustrations are actually pretty cool because you can obviously tell that the people are um, shopping on 125th Street but the detail in this page is super important. Um, the Colors are super bright. You can tell like all the way back that people are shopping, enjoying themselves, cars all around, that there's shops all around here, stores, that the people have like shopping bags in their hands. Um, I just think this page is super cool and how bright the colors are all the way through the book actually. When I was reading it, I was just taken back at how good he like was on his detail and how bright the colors were throughout the whole thing, and especially his, and even his words, especially since he was the author in it. I think this book um, is a really good book to read to your students or even to your kids someday. So I really like this book. Also, he won an award on this book that I mentioned earlier in my story or my video. This is the second book that I picked out. It's called 50 Cents in a Dream. Right here it says it's illustrated by Brian. Um, this is the page that I picked out. I really think this page is so cool because the book really took me back because you could just tell that it took him probably so long to all the detail on these pages and it actually looks like he took time to put in all the lines to make it look like all the actual pages on the book. I've read so many books before where they have books in like children's books or books like picture books like this and they just drew books and then didn't even try to put make it look like there's pages in the book. Also, all the detail on this guy's faces to make it look like he has 
lines or wrinkles kind of on his face and the lines on his suit and everything and his hands. I don't know, Brian is just an illustrator to me that puts so much time into his drawings and to think that he did this with watercolor because we, I learned earlier and I told you guys earlier that he does most of his illustration with watercolor or all of his illustration with watercolor. That's just crazy to me. I tried to do watercolor before and it does not work for me. <laughs> so that's just kind of cool to me. Um, this is, yeah, it was a really cool book to read and to see all of his um, illustrations. So also another book I would suggest to read because he was a very good book, but also the illustrations were really cool to me by Brian. So for my third book, I did Freedom River. And right here is this pictures by Brian Collier. This book is a really good book. It tells a great story throughout the whole entire book. His pictures, he did a, or his illustrations, he did an amazing job on. I don't want to give the story away because I want you guys to read it yourselves. But this, um, sir, this particular page tells a great story. I think you guys can tell what's going on here. These people are running away from the bad guy. And even on this page, there's a picture where the words are. But he did an amazing job on his illustration in this book um, where it tells the whole entire story and his pictures throughout the book. Usually that is what you're supposed to do in books. But like, even if you didn't read the story, like the words, he, you could figure out what was going on just through his pictures. I think that's really important through that just speaks for him as an illustrator. Like, I think if you didn't read it, you could figure out what's going on. I think just because he has so much detail and he spends so much time on his um, illustration, it's super good. It's a super good book. I would recommend it to anybody and everybody to read your students, your kids, or just for you. So for my last book, I picked Martin's Big Words, The Life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. right here. You can say it's illustrated by Brian. Um, back of it. Or, it's actually the front of it, I believe. But this book, this is the <laughs> illustration page I chose. I just like this page because it gives a lot of detail in the background and it shows actually who Martin Luther King is. Um, I've seen lots of paid books, pages, whatever, um, of Martin Luther King and it doesn't really look like him at all, but I think this is a really good drawing illustration of him. It really shows who he is, what he lo used to look like. And this is just a really good book of his life it shows um who he was what he did um there's a page in here like when he said i had a dream speech yep and this is also one of my favorite pages because it says when he had a speech and when he was on the podium talking so um earlier i said that he um like to tell stories like to give in his books, he liked to tell children, tell people about African-American people and what their lives were about and what they um, used to give speeches about and how they lived and stuff and when they how they couldn't now and stuff. That This book um, is all about Martin Luther King and how he lived his life and what he stood for and stuff. So his illustrations really stood for that and really represent Martin Luther King. So this is a really, really good book and really represents him and his illustrations are amazing in this book. So I also encourage people to read that if you're giving a lesson on Martin Luther King or just want to get more knowledge on him. So he also um, has won an award for this book. Yep, he's won an award for this book. He's also won an award for this book and my first book. He has not won an award for 50 Cent and a Dream Book, I believe. No, he's won an award for their first, these three books though. So I would encourage anybody to read all the books I did though. They're all amazing books and he is a great illustrator and a good author too. I just chose to do his illustrations. So thank you guys.